Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You are watching South Asia Newsline and have the top stories we are tracking for you on India's NSA Ajit Doval meets US counterpart ahead of PM Modi state visit. Altaf Hussain offers support to Pak military officers for internal revolution. And more than 97,000 Afghans relocated to US, say Anthony Blinken. And of all the details, India's National Security Advisor Ajit Doval on Wednesday held delegation-level talks with his American counterpart Jake Sullivan in New Delhi. The two NSAs discussed array of bilateral issues, including the global issues of mutual interest. Sullivan is in India to make final preparations for Prime Minister Narendra Modi's state visit to the US from June 21 to 24. Earlier on Tuesday, he also called on PM Modi, briefing him on the progress in bilateral cooperation. United States is working to deepen its ties with India in its effort to push back against China's expanding influence in the region. Coastal areas in India's western states of Gujarat and Maharashtra saw high tides crashing onto shores on Wednesday, a day ahead of the expected landfall of cyclone Bipper Joy. India has suspended activities in offshore oil installations and major ports across the coastline of Gujarat and evacuated hundreds of people in preparation for the approaching cyclone. Indian weather experts have warned the cyclone landfall can destroy the temporary thatched houses while standing crops, plantations and roads are also expected to face major damage. यहां पे हम लोग को कोई दिक्कत नहीं हो रहा हर चीज का सुविधा मिल रहा है खाना पीना बिस्तर उस्तर रहने के लिए लाइट पंखा सब चीज का सुविधा मिल रहा है वहां पे तो हम लोग ऐसे सोचा जब हम लोग मर जाऊंगी सिमिलर प्रिकॉशंस हैव बीन टेकन इन पाकिस्तान गवर्नमेंट अथॉरिटी सेड बोट्स एंड शिप्स हैव बीन मूव फ्रॉम एरियाज ऑफ पाकिस्तान कोस्ट एंड हॉस्पिटल इन द रीजन आर केप्ट ऑन हाई अलर्ट क्लाइमेट मिनिस्टर शेरी रहमान अर्ज पीपल टू अवॉइड अननेसेसरी मूवमेंट फॉर द नेक्स्ट 2 डेज बरसाती हवा जो चल रही है ना कोई बिलबोर्ड के लिए कोई एक्शन हो रहा है सिर्फ वजीर आला सिंह ने जो है बिलबोर्ड हटाने के लिए बोला तरक जो है वो सीधा हालत के अंदर है ब्रिटिश दौर के दो 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 साल पुराने तरक थे ये साउथ के अंदर ना कोई उस तरक की जो है ना तराशी होती है ना कुछ होता कुछ हादसा हो जाता है या किसी के ऊपर गिर जाता है तो फिर ये बोलते हैं कि ये ये कुदरत की तरफ से हुआ ये सिंध गवर्नमेंट के पास तमाम बजट है उस बजट को लगाती नहीं है Moving on, Altaf Hussain, the founder leader of MQM, has called on Pak Army soldiers for a soft internal revolution. He says it is the only way forward to resolve political and economic crisis in the country. Founder leader of the MQM, the Mutahida Qawmi movement, Altaf Hussain, on Tuesday called on Pakistan military soldiers and officers for a soft internal revolution. As he said, it is the only forward to resolve issues and crisis of Pakistan. Hussein said he will give them full support if they take on corrupt generals who have broken the country by usurping the rights of the people and legislated rules, laws and policies to protect their own vested interest. Pakistan किसी एक भी जर्नल को मुल्क तोड़ने की सजा मिली कैच ईच एंड एवरी करप्ट जर्नल एंड ब्रिंग अ रेवोल्यूशन आई विल सपोर्ट यू एमक्यूएम हैज डोमिनेटेड पाकिस्तान लार्जेस्ट सिटी कराची सिंस द 1980s when security forces cracked down on the party in the 1990s altaf hussain sought asylum in london even from exile, he has been a vocal critic of Pak Army and its tactics to muzzle dissent. And after the first cargo of discounted Russian crude arrived in Pakistan's Karachi, the government has affirmed that advantages of the discounted petroleum would be passed on to the public. 
Petroleum Minister Musaddiq Malik told the media that the first government-to-government -government deal with Russia consisted of 100,000 tons, of which 45,000 tons had docked at Karachi port, and the rest was on its way. He also informed that the payment for the oil purchase made in April was made in Chinese currency, making a significant shift in US dollar-dominated payment policy. Energy imports make up the majority of Pakistan's external payments. The discounted crude will offer a respite to the crisis-hit country as it continues to face an acute balance of payments <coughs> problem. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken, during the signing ceremony to renew the MOU between the U.S. Department of State and the Afghan evacuation this week, said that more than 97,000 Afghans have been relocated to the United States. Afghan Iraq is a coalition of more than 200 organizations working alongside the U.S. government to support Afghan relocation efforts. During the 2021 international troops withdrawal, the U.S. evacuated thousands of Afghans alongside American citizens from Afghanistan. The Biden administration used the parole authority to admin the evacuees after vetting them at military bases overseas. Sri Lanka's cabinet spokesperson Bandula Gunawardena said on Tuesday that the island nation is not in the position to hold snap presidential election this year because of the ongoing economic crisis. Local media quoted Gunawardena saying that the government's focus for now is centered on ending the process of debt restructuring. President Ranil Vikramasinghe, who is also the finance minister, is under mounting criticism for holding back the local council election as well citing back off fund. Sri Lanka plunged into worst economic crisis last year due to plummeting foreign exchange reserves that caused severe shortages of essential items and triggered massive public unrest. And in the age of social media, the young generation's love for theatre plays has not faded in India's Jammu and Kashmir, especially amongst the art-loving youth despite several digital platforms for entertainment. In the past few years, a number of theatre groups have been very active to showcase Kashmir's culture and highlight social issues through theatre. The JNK Academy of Art, Culture and Languages also plays a major role in organizing a number of drama festivals. These frequent events offer a large number of artists a proper chance to showcase their caliber, which is very important to keep the traditional theatre alive. Where the electronic media is connected, where they make web series, or the rest of the mobile, but in the theatre, there is also something fun in the theatre. In the theatre, directly liaison होता है audience और performers के दरमियान। तब मैं अभी college से निकला, थोड़ा depressed होके निकला, अभी मैं यहाँ पे आया और मैंने play देखा, theatre देखा, उसकी वजह से मुझे खुशी मिली। और theatre यही सिखाता है हमें किसी को खुशी देना और अपनी development भी इसे हो जाती है। That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.